Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, is not a condition that can be spread from person to person. In fact, it occurs most often in people who have one or more of the risk factors, such as obesity, diabetes or prediabetes, high cholesterol, arterial hypertension, sedentary lifestyle, use of certain drugs. The medical researchers still do not know the exact reason why NAFLD affects some people with the conditions listed above, but not others. Non-alcoholic fatty liver, NAFL, and non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, are types of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, indicated by the deposition of fats in the liver, and can be differentiated based on the damage done to the liver. Non-alcoholic fatty liver, NAFL, is a type of NAFLD, happens due to accumulation of fats in liver whereas non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, is a severe form of NAFLD, associated with high level of fats accumulation in liver accompanied by hepatitis infection. Non-alcoholic fatty liver, NAFL, is also known as simple fatty liver, and usually it is reversible, whereas non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, can be reversed but depends on its progression. Non-alcoholic fatty liver, NAFL, doesn't cause inflammation and liver cell damage whereas non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, causes inflammation and liver cell damage due to hepatitis infection, which can lead to liver scarring, fibrosis. Non-alcoholic fatty liver, NAFL, is not progressive in nature and it does not lead to any severe complication whereas non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, can possibly lead to severe complications like fibrosis, cirrhosis, liver cancer, liver failure. Non-alcoholic fatty liver, NAFL, can be treated by losing 3-5% to of body weight, whereas inflammations of liver due to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, can be reduced by losing 7-10% to of body weight. Many people with non-alcoholic fatty liver, NAFL, do not have any symptoms, but in those who do, these are usually non-specific, such as mild fatigue and discomfort or pain in upper right abdomen. Whereas in patients with non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH, and cirrhosis of the liver can eventually lead to the appearance of signs and symptoms such as increased fatigue, buildup of fluid in the abdomen, ascites, confusion, encephalopathy, a decreased or loss of appetite, bleeding easily or bruising, ecchymosis, nausea, an uneasiness of the stomach, edema, swelling in your feet, ankles or feet, unexplained weight loss, yellow discoloration in the skin and eyes, jaundice, esophageal, varices enlarged or swollen veins in the esophagus that can cause vomiting blood, bloody or black tar-like stool. Since the prevalence of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, is increasing, if you have one or more of the risk factors for fatty liver disease, it may be reasonable to discuss with your hepatologist, liver specialist doctor, whether you need evaluation or not. However, there are no specific accepted guidelines for who should be further investigated for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, other than those with unexplained abnormalities in liver enzymes.